Well, UNC is no stranger to the issue of race relations. Silent Sam made national headlines, and now another controversial piece of history is sparking debate. Reporter Sydney Persing is covering the story. She joins us live from the undergraduate library. Sydney? It's been sitting in the library for years, and it's gone completely unnoticed. Now, this yearbook is the talk of the town, and it's raising a number of questions about the treatment of black people at UNC. They would call you a nigger for no reason. I mean, you're just minding your own business, and I guess they thought it was funny. That's how Alan Johnson remembers life as a student at UNC in 1979. And because of a resurfaced yearbook photo, it's how much of the state is remembering that year as well. Days before the conversation started in North Carolina, it started in Virginia, when Governor Ralph Northam's medical school yearbook became the focus of national attention. It got one Raleigh-based reporter thinking. Well, I was reading, obviously, all the stories about the Virginia governor, um, and one of my colleagues pointed out that there's a web database called Digital NC that has yearbook uh, digitized for uh, a lot of universities in North Carolina, dating back for decades. Campbell took to Twitter to share the photo he found with the world. It wasn't long before his post went viral, with 15,000 retweets and 24,000 likes. A few days later, he's still surprised at what he found. And that was uh, something that perhaps by, I might have expected in the 1920s yearbooks, but certainly not 1979. But as a black man who went to UNC in 1979, Johnson wasn't surprised at all. That kind of racism, that kind of expression was not uncommon then. And it was something that just was a fact of life, one of the unpleasant facts of life, if you were a student of color in Chapel Hill. UNC was quick to denounce the photos, both on Twitter and to the press. It's a horrific part of our past, one that I think has no place then or now in our university system. For Johnson, the then is less important than the now. The thing that is most disconcerting to me is that we're all talking about 1979. I would not be at all surprised if you were to see that kind of thing in 2019. Campbell says whether the focus is on the then or the now is entirely up to the public. Someone sent me a link to one from I think the like 1913 yearbook where there was a particularly uh, racist cartoon about uh, African American workers at UNC. So there's a lot more back there than what I found. Um, so I think it's just a matter of who wants to spend the time going through years and years of these yearbooks because they are all out there. None of the people in the photo have been identified yet, and despite a number of calls for Governor Northam to resign, he's continued to say he plans to stay in office until the end of his term. In Chapel Hill, Sydney Persing reporting. That was Sydney Persing live from the undergraduate library. Thanks, Sydney.